SEC women's basketball, obviously, uh, you know, new year and, and uh, some, some familiar faces. You know, as you, you all know, we were preseason pick, but now going outside of our team, Kentucky is, is going to be a very good basketball team again. They were just recently, they were ranked sixth in the country after our loss to Stanford. They had passed us up, and then they went to Middle Tennessee, which is always a tough place to play and, and got beat. But don't, don't misunderstand at all. They are very, very good. They've got a little, you know, people come up with slogans, and they've got a little slogan this year. They count 40 minutes of dread. And they're playing right now. I was just telling Jimmy before we had lunch, they're playing 11 players. 11 to 12 players are getting double-digit minutes. They're very comfortable with their bench and their depth, and they basically are playing by attrition. They're going to pick you up 40 minutes. They're going to run and trap, and they're trying to wear you down. They lost Victoria Dunlap who is one of the best players in the league the last couple of years. But they've got now Samari Walker, the transfer from UConn. She's not quite Victoria Dunlap, but she's doing some of the things that Dunlap did so that hole isn't quite as gaping. So they're going to be very, very good. This Georgia team that's coming in here tomorrow night is very athletic, very talented, and playing with a lot of confidence right now. So look for Georgia to be among the top three or four. I'd be shocked if they weren't, you know, finishing the top three or four teams in the league. Uh, never underestimate Vanderbilt because I think Melanie Balcom and their staff do as good a job offensively running and, and recruiting to their system and running things to their system as well as anybody in the country. And they're playing good. They've won some games. They haven't played as strong of a preseason schedule as, let's say, ourselves or a couple other teams, but they're still going to be a very, very good team. I think Nikki Caldwell's LSU team, the, the cupboard was certainly not bare with the talent that was left there. I think it's been an adjustment to their style and their systems. But right now, you're seeing them start. They went to Ole Miss and just crushed them by 39 points. They're starting to hit their stride, and they're going to be a, a good team in this league. And then I think the other team that has a chance to be in there is Florida. Florida played Kentucky to a two-point game the other night. They're very athletic. Their, their guards are very quick and athletic. They've got a front line that's got a combination of size and athleticism. So I think Florida is a team that can certainly factor in and be very, very good. And then you've got some teams that have kind of made some noise. There. Arkansas is 11 and 2. Once again, not a strong preseason schedule, but they're 11 and 2 going into the Georgia game. So they're 11 and 3. They're very athletic. Uh, Mississippi State has a very good non conference record right now, and, and they're certainly in the mix. So again, typical of the SEC, I think you've got three, four, Four or five teams that could be the upper echelon, but those next tier teams are very, very dangerous and can be very, very good.